everybody and welcome back to another episode of the points of articulation my name's dave and if you're new to the channel welcome today i'm looking at the hot wheels star wars concept series millennium falcon now the millennium falcon was first seen in star wars episode 4 a new hope but before it became the millennium falcon we all know and love it was going to be this bad boy made by colin cantwell I must say, I do like the design. If you're a fan of playing Expanded Universe games, you know this sort of looks like the Corellian gunboat in a way. A little blockade runner as well. And sadly, that was one of the problems with this ship. During production, a lot of people were saying this ship looked just like the Eagle seen in Space 1999, which was a TV show at the time. So because of that, it was scrapped, more people worked on it, and then we ended up with the Millennium Falcon we know today. And to be honest with all of you, that kind of stinks, because even though I love the Millennium Falcon from the films, this is not a bad ship. It's got a bunch of guns on it, very neat looking, and I can't wait to dive into it. But before that, let's go over the size. So this ship measures in at over three and a half inches long, which is awesome. Let's get right to the review. We're going to look at the mold, the paint, put on a stand, compare it, and then we'll be done. So let's get moving. All right, finally taking a look at the beautiful model here. Like always, I'll go over the main points of the ship, and then we'll get nice and close to show off all those details. Okay, there's not much information on it, but this is what I know. We have our cockpit, two laser cannons in the front, escape pods, turret in the back, two turrets on the side, docking ports on the left and right side in the rear. We have our engines in the back, and then we have landing gear on the bottom, as well as two rivets and one stand connector port. And you can't forget the copyright crap, which is located on the neck and hidden in between these two beams, which is awesome. So let's take a closer look. Let's begin looking at the cockpit here, very reminiscent of the Millennium Falcons. Just a little different there. Then we have our laser cannons on the side. We have our neck. And then here's where the detail begins, the main body. Beautiful looking little modules. I love all the support beams here. We have our escape pods and empty sections. And I love the angles on here. Just look at all this stuff. Very cool. We have our two turrets right here, as well as the main turret in the back. Two barrels. And I love all this stuff. Look at all that. Fantastic little pipes going to the engines. Great. Speaking of engines, let's take a look because there is a bunch of them. Very cool. On the bottom of the vessel, the detail continues or a rivet. More support structures, stand port, another rivet or copyright crit. Oh no, beautiful. Let's take a look at the side. Was this a hair? No, it's a piece of plastic. Weird. We have our landing gear, and they are detailed only on the front. In the back, it's basically minimal. But on the side, some beautiful details here. Especially in the back, next to the docking ports. Awesome. Really an amazing job. And in the front of the ship, some pretty cool designs. And you can see little support beams coming down to the landing gear. That is awesome. All in all, a beautiful looking ship. And that does it for the mold. And I have to say, hands down, this is a beautiful, beautiful ship. I love all the little added details, all these structures in the back. And everything that needs to be there to hold it together is hidden, even the copyright stuff. Fantastic. Love this ship. So now, let's take a look at the paint. I'm now taking a look at that paint job. The Millennium Falcon features seven different colors, which is, at this point, the most paint we've seen on a concept ship. We didn't get to the x wing yet, but this one's pretty high. It may not look it. First color up is a nice light whitish gray. For the main body, it's a nice choice. I think it came out very clean and beautiful. Excellent. 
Second color we have is a nice red for these escape pod sections, if we could call it that. And then black for the empty ones, and it's a matte black. Pretty cool. Speaking of black, we have glossy black for the cockpit, which looks very similar to the Millennium Falcon cockpit. Just a little different here and there, but very clean. I think that came out excellent. And then we have black and yellow for the symbol on the left and right side. Pretty cool. And then we have silver for the turret right here. So that's pretty awesome. At first, I didn't even notice that. And then finally, we have brown in the back for the engines. And they are very clean, as you can see. All in all, a beautifully painted ship. And that's everything I have to say about the paint. On the whole, I think it is a beautiful job. We have a lot of hidden colors, such as the silver, the black, and yellow. Very clean paint apps. Perfect. So that's everything I have to say about the paint and the mold. So now let's put this baby back on a stand, compare it to some other ships, and then we'll be done. And just like all Hot Wheel ships, it comes with a cool translucent stand, says Star Wars. Just peg it in the port like so, hear that click, and you're good to go. All right, looking at that size comparison with the Concept Falcon, we have the original Trilogy version Millennium Falcon on the right-hand side. And even though both ships are very cool in their own right, I gotta stick with the original Falcon here as my favorite design. It's just beautiful. This one's not too bad, though. And on the left, we have the Ghost, seen in Star Wars Rebels. A very nice-looking ship. Very reminiscent of the Falcon in its own way. Awesome ships all around. And now for a little added bonus here, we have all three concept series ships together. On the right, we have our X-Wing, Millennium Falcon in the center, and obviously on the left, we have our TIE Fighters, some great looking ships. And that does it today for my review of the Hot Wheels Star Wars concept series, Millennium Falcon. Again, for its length, it's over three and a half inches long, which is amazing. And like I brought up with my TIE Fighter concept review, I was trained to be a historian. And the fact that Hot Wheels is going into the archives and getting these beautiful looking ships that never made it into the final film, it's like bringing history to life. So that way everybody can have one. And I think that is very important for film history and also for model collectors. You know, this is a beautiful piece here. But is it worth buying? Absolutely. As we saw looking at the mold, tons and tons of support beams, trestles, modules, recesses. The cockpit looks very cool. The landing gear, the engines, the turrets. I could just go on and on. This is a beautiful looking ship. And what helps it out is the paint. We got that nice red, the black, just awesome. And I love the silver on the turret in the back and the brown on the engines. Great color choices. Now, I'm not going to lie. I would love if Hot Wheels did a bigger version of this, and uh, basically their Elite series, and gave it a nice black wash, extra details and paint, this thing would be beautiful. Now also, you got that great translucent stand, which is a welcome addition to the set, and makes it blend in with the rest of the ships, which is very important. Now, if you're looking to buy this craft, it sells at retail at Walmart and Target for around $3.99. However, in my area, I could not find one. And I want to take a moment and I want to thank uh, one of my subscribers. His name's Eric Sanchez. He's been watching me for a long time. And he took the time out of his day to message me when Walmart had these in stock. And we were going back and forth for a while. And when I found they had ships, I also sent him a link. And to many people, these are just toys, hunks of plastic, and, you know, it's true. But to people like me and Eric, we are collectors, we love having these ships, and it's really a, a hobby, if you want to put it that way. And I'm glad he enjoys my videos. Just want to say thank you so much, man. It means a lot that you took the time to write me a message on there, and I really do appreciate it. So having said all that, I recommend a ship for anybody who's a fan of Colin Cantwell, and I also recommend it for fans of the Millennium Falcon. So that's everything I have to say about this beautiful ship today. I hope you enjoyed my review. If you did, hit that like button. And if you'd like to see new reviews every Thursday, subscribe. Again, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye, everybody.